welcome back to Art Teller Houston. This Hello. is Panda Jet and this is Sarah Love. Today we will be doing face painting. Yeah, we're gonna try something different and new, painting on our face. And I'm gonna let Panda Jet do whatever she wants on my face yeah. and then she's gonna let me do whatever she, she want, we I want this, on her face. We got this new decoration today. Uh huh. I don't know if it's new. It's been in my studio and Panda Jet liked it, so it's yeah, here today. It's, Yes. yes All right. So there. first things first, we want to talk about the different things that we have. Yes. So we might have this lovely decoration that yes. is super exciting and fluffy yes. and sparkly. And then we have paint. We have this kind of paint because yes, we never know when we need it. Paint then we brushes, have yeah, paint brushes. We have sponges, yeah. so we can and do. Boom, this boom, boom, boom. kind of paint actually is blue squid paint. So everybody knows we have blue squid paint. You can get this on Amazon. You can get it at. Any supply store or um, trying to think of where else. I like just, it's, any art store, kids store. I'd say um, you can just Google blue squid face paint. It's non toxic, hypoallergenic, hypoallergenic, not hyper. Um, and it's easy to use. It's very, very easy to use. A couple of layers, though, is going to be required to get the solid, thick, dark color that you see. Okay. And you do have to wait between layers for it to dry. Yeah. What are you looking at? Just getting ready. All right, so let's get started. So if you're not gonna use these sponge things, you're gonna use a napkin, of course. So you have to get a lot of water in it because um, you want it to stick to the thing. But if you get too much water, you just squeeze some water out, then put the paint on like that, like I did. Now, I'm gonna draw a tiger, if you can see that, mm. on my mommy's face. So let's get started. <laughs> Challenge started. So now I am putting orange on her face. <laughs> it, it tickles her, I think. No, I just think this is funny. You're putting makeup on my face. Don't smile. Oh, I'm sorry. This is so, so funny. <laughs> well, we got off my face back. <laughs> Funny. You have to talk normal and stop okay. shaking. Okay. She looks really funny. Look. <laughs> I'm zooming in. Great. Lovely. <laughs> All right. And she has a goatee right Oh, here. good gracious. Thank you. Goatee. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, We have finished with the, the tiger look. And um, it's, I'm trying not to laugh. Uh, but um. Now we're gonna move on to painting my, Panda, Panda Jet's, Jet's face. And this is gonna be weird, but I want the blushing emoji for my face. I don't know, we agreed on something else, like a tiger. <laughs> I want the blushy. Actually, I want the same. I'm gonna do a tiger, but um, I'm gonna do a tiger exactly like hers, but she's gonna do a little bit more better. All right, get ready. Well, we have started my face of a tiger. Rawr. This is how I look. Mama, I look really weird. Okay, if you're... The tigers are compared. <laughs> so, what do you think? Okay, I will say this. It is a little bit challenging to do face paint. So if you are a first time face painter, this is what you have to know. Uh, you might need to do it a couple of times to get it to the level that you want to get it to. Number one. Number two, watering down the paint is very effective. And if you don't like what you did, you can always wipe it off and then start from scratch. If you let your kid do it, definitely be prepared for what's gonna happen <laughs> hope you had fun today or this week and, and never doubt your kid for doing your face paint because um they might actually do a little good mm. see you guys soon bye